Omai wa moshinderu. Welcome back to Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise. We're actually going to make some progress on the main story today, though not a terrible amount. To start off with, I'm just finishing off this subquest to, uh, well, find out about that guy who's at the gate, looking for his lost love in Eden. No. No. There's really not much to this sub-story, just running around the city very briefly, finding another guy, talking to him, and then heading back to the gate, really. Hey. What? Of course, this guy thinks he's big and bad, but as it turns out, when he takes on someone slightly less than his size, he's gonna have a bad time. We could lie to this guy, but, you know, why? He probably just needs to know the truth in his final moments. Might as well give him the peace he seeks.
so yeah, like I said, not really too much to that sub story, just to show up and do a thing, get some experience. So what we have to do to progress progress the story is to take a rest in the hideout. And I've been putting this off for, you know, a while, but you know, why bother? Just take a break, man. Sometimes you just gotta take a quick sleep. And now that we've arrived in the morning, there are not only more sub-stories to do, but we can actually go back out to the wasteland in the buggy. I mean, it's just not safe to drive in the evenings. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> 
Lynn is one of the first people Kenshiro found in the wasteland, and uh, really, he helped her out quite a bit, saving her from some bandits and also giving her back her voice. Her fake talisman is pretty useful, but what purpose she serves in this game is to hand out three or four sub-stories, but mostly she's here to give us some money for materials we may not have that much use for. Drive around the wasteland, we'll pick up all sorts of junk, and we may find some various health items like the milk can and the Eden gummy, but the goal is to get her enough money to help out her village. And by tossing in some of these things we don't really need, we can help her out. Okay. Welcome! Thank you! Thank you, Ken! a lot. <laughs> I want to say the more money you can get her in one scoop, the different cutscene you'll get, but it's a lot of times it's just something cute, like her coming up to say thank you. So, you know, good for her. But yeah, let's get some story. I've been waiting for you, Kenshiro. This way. Sure. Please, follow me. Wait for me, Kenshiro! We haven't really been behind the cathedral yet, though there is something interesting back here, and we're gonna hear all about it. Yuria is inside Sphere City. In there? She is sleeping in the Chamber of Miracles, which lies on the highest floor of the tallest tower. What is this chamber? A place where all wounds are healed, all ailments cured. I told Lady Yuria about it, just as my father told me long ago. So she really is in there. When she learned that it was a forbidden place, she decided to enter without her followers. How was her condition at the time? Not good, I'm afraid. Her wounds were still bleeding. It was a marvel she could even walk. She appeared dauntless, but I fear she was suffering. In other words, you don't know if she made it to the Chamber of Miracles at all. Indeed. I regret to admit that is all I can tell you. Thank you, Kisana. Oh? I've only been in Eden a few days, but from what I've learned about Sphere City, this place is very important to your people. Still, you showed her kindness. Took her in. Yuri has been through so much pain. Thank you. Truth be told, I did so at another's behest. Whose? Someone my father once served. Someone he's indebted to. I received a letter from them about half a year ago. It read, If a woman named Yuria comes to you, then guide her to the Chamber of Miracles. So that's why she's here. I'd like to see Yuria, if possible. A few hours after Yuria entered Sphere City, the doors were shut tight. I assume an automatic mechanism self-activated. Is there no way to open them ourselves? Unfortunately, there is not. Not even I know how. I have seen these doors open but once before. When? The day my father killed my mother. What? Father! Mother! What are you doing? You have to come out!
Kisana, what are you doing here? <laughs> My father had changed. He grew obsessed with controlling Sphere City, and eliminated anyone in his way. When my mother confronted him, he took her life. So in order to protect Eden, I took his in turn. I can't even imagine. Those doors were open until Lady Yuria passed through. Why they closed, or how they open, only my father knew. Sorry to dredge up such painful memories. It is I who should apologize. I should not give in to my emotions. But whenever I think of it... Hey! So this is where you've been! Oh, is something wrong, Jagre? Everything! But let's start with ditching your partner! Why am I left out whenever something important happens? Since when am I your partner? Aw, oh, come on, Ken! After all we've been through... <laughs> Kisana, is there a way to see if Yuria made it to the top of the tower? Wait, what?! Your old ladies in Sphere City?! Yeah. For a view like that, you'd have to scale the mountain overlooking the city itself. Whoa, whoa! Slow your roll! The only way to get there is through the cursed village! The what? Look, there's only one way over those mountains. Through a town of raving psychopaths. The cursed village. You say it's cursed? There's something in the air around there. It gets into their minds, turns them feral and savage. It's a disease of the mind, causing incurable bloodlust. That's right! Had a nasty run-in with the freaks myself. Doesn't matter who you are, they'll attack on sight. They're fucked up, that's for damn sure. Those infected by the disease were sent into exile, banished from civilization. After a while, the infected gathered on that mountain. So there's a horde of madmen blocking the way up the mountain. Good to know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on! Don't be an idiot! Even you couldn't make it through there alive! My mind is already made up. Well, I sure as shit ain't going. You wanna die? Then go by yourself! Jagre, aren't you Kenshiro's partner? Huh? Yeah, so what? You know the lay of the land. Please guide him on his path. Look, there's a lot of stuff I'd do for you, but this is definitely more than some little favor. In that case, I order you, not as friend to friend, but as ruler of Eden to captain of the Watch. Friend? No right, damn it! Fine! Twist my arm, why don't you? Godspeed. So, I guess Jagre and Kinshaw are besties now. Cool. Unexpected, but I guess that's what happens when you manly save somebody's life. Of course, we're not quite off the hook yet. Still one more minigame to introduce.
Yeah.
There's instruction here, but I'm skipping over them. It's a rhythm game, just roll with it. There are different rewards for getting the B, A, and S rank on every single song, but the only ones I'll be showing off are the S ranks. So that's going to be the rest of this video, and the bonus video will also be getting all of those. So I hope you enjoy different music. I can't imagine this is very sanitary for a hospital, but, you know, whatever. It works. Take two and call me in the morning. Yeah! No. That's going to do it for this exciting episode of Dr. Kinshiro, Medicine Man, so, well, please join me next time.